sudden news hit us today as beloved artist dies at 31. A former America's Got Talent contestant Jane Nightbird Mazowski has died at the age of 31, six months after her battle with cancer led her to withdraw from the competition show. Uh, the singer from Ohio, who used the stage name Nightbird, passed her on Sunday following months of treatment after the disease had spread to her lungs, spine, and liver. Um, Jane amazed the AGT judges and viewers alike when she performed an original song, It's Okay, for audition in June, uh, earning a golden buzzer from the emotional Simon Cowell. Less than two months later, she stunned everyone again by announcing that she had quit because her cancer had taken turn for the worse. Uh, AGT judge Howe Mandel paid tribute to Jane on Twitter, saying she was such a bright inspiration light in all our lives. We must continue to live and learn from her words and lyrics, he added. As much as I feel horribly about her passing, I feel lucky to have met, heard and known her. Uh, John Terry offered his condolences on Instagram, uh, saying uh, we are saddened to learn about Nightbird's passing. He captured a photo of Jane on the show. Our condolences go to her closest family and friends in search of this difficult time. We love you, Nightbird. A judge Heidi also shared a picture of Jane on Instagram stories, writing, We love you. Rest in peace, Nightbird. Jane was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017. She was in remission when it returned in a metastatic state. In 2019, a doctor gave her 2% chance of survival, estimating she only had 3 to 6 months to live. But just as she charmed viewers with her remarkably unbeat attitude on AGT, she also demonstrated the same positive mindset on CNN, explaining how she managed to avoid a feeling of bitter thanks to her rebellious hope. A Jane who hailed from Ohio became an instant fan favorite when she appeared on AGT last summer, sharing the story of a cancer battle and singing an original song about being okay while feeling lost. She earned effusive praise from the judges with the infamously tough Cowell appearing to tear up before hitting the golden buzzer, sending her directly to the live show's quarterfinals. About weeks later, she announced that she was leaving the competition because her cancer battle had become too demanding. Although she kept the brave face, she admitted on CNN that she was having a hard time. She said, I've been called up in a bowl like a little cocktail shrimp, having an A-plus pity party for myself, because it's just been bad, a bad month. It's really been pretty devastating. I'm not a quitter, so it was really, really hard for me to say that I couldn't finish the show, she added. A gen shared that about a week before she had received the shocking news that her cancer regrowth had taken over her lungs and liver. While she admitted that it was difficult, she continued to cling on optimism. But like I said, I'm planning my future, not my legacy. And some people would call that blind denial, but I prefer to call it rebellious hope. And I'm not stopping anytime soon, she said. When we are going through stuff like this, really, the pain is too much to bear sometimes. It makes no sense at all. We can hold on to a dream for the future sometimes. That's all we need to get through. And I believe in dreams for all our lives that originated in the imagination of God. And just think about it. Don't you want to see what happens if you don't give up? Don't you want to see what happens? That's what I keep saying to myself, she went on. When you are faced with so many blows to the gut in a row, like I've been over the past several years, you find out what you're made of in a sense, and you are given the opportunity to choose what you want to become. When asked if she ever wallows and asks why me, uh, Jen said she doesn't bother. I try not to occupy myself with questions that are too big for myself to answer, she explained. It's a waste of time. Just because it's a mystery doesn't mean it's absence of meaning. Sometimes the mystery means there's more meaning than we can ever understand. And so I accept that and I let go to the questions because it's too heavy, she added. When you go through something that is so devastating, makes no sense, there's no answers. You kind of have the choice. Am I going to become bitter or am I not? You do have a choice. You do get to decide what becomes of you in a sense. Sadly, Nightbird was never officially signed to a label and doesn't have an album out. But she does have some EP releases and singles under her belt from her early years in the music business where she was trying to break out into the mainstream 
in Virginia. Rest in peace, Nightbird. Keep locked to our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.